finding a missing angle in a right angled triangle when you've got two of the sides and you're going to do it by using trigonometry. So looking at our first example here, um, we've got to find the angle x here. We know what our opposite side is in red, there's our opposite, and we know what our hypotenuse side is in green. So what we do, sine x is going to be substituting in to give us um, an 8 on the bottom there for our hypotenuse and a 7 on top there. Now x is going to be sine to the minus 1, 7 over 8. Now sine to the minus 1 is basically inverse sine, it's the, the inverse function. And the way we do that is you've got to do second function or shift on your calculator then press the side button and the sign to the minus one should come up on the screen. Um, it might be an idea then to bracket that fraction. So it's an bra open bracket, seven divided by eight, and then shut the bracket, um, and then press equals. And that gives you an answer of 61.04 on the calculator. So we call that 61, and our units, of course, as we're finding an angle, is degrees. Okay, now very important as well, forgot to mention that as I always do, um, you must ensure that your calculator is in degrees mode before you start doing any calculations involving angles, because if it's in a different type of angle measurement, you'll get um, a wrong answer come out. Okay, um, having a look at this one, we've got cos w then, because we're going to have an adjacent side here, and we've got our hypotenuse, so I'll pop the hypotenuse side of 4.2 in there. So the cos of this angle W is 3.2, the adjacent side, divided by 4.2. Again, we do this changing step now to do the inverse cos, the cos to the minus 1. So W is inverse cos of 3.4 divided by, uh, 3.2 divided by 4.2, sorry. Okay, so second function or shift button, cos bracket 3.2 divided by 4.2, close bracket, equals button. Um, let's do that again. So just to check, so shift button, cos bracket 3.2 divided by 4.2, shut bracket, gives us 40.36 degrees. So I'm going to call that, I'll do it to the nearest degree, I will call that 40 degrees. Finally, we'll do one with tan. As you can see, um, we've got angle P here. We've got 6.1 as our opposite side and 3.4 as our adjacent side. Make sure you stick, even though that 6.1 is bigger than 3.4, which is, can be looked as unusual, you've got to stick to the, um, to, to the rule that 6.1 does go on top. You're allowed to have a bigger number on top um, when it's tan. All it means is your answer is going to be um, wider than 45 degrees. So 6.1, opposite side, adjacent side, 3.4. Substituted into the equation. Back to our calculator again. So... Um, shift tan to the minus 1 comes up, open the bracket, 6.1 divided by 3.4, shut the bracket, equals 60.86 degrees. So that's going to come out to be 61 degrees as the answer. So there you have it. That's how to find an angle when using trigonometry when you're given two sides of the right angle triangle.